Today, I'm going to admit to not having been a particularly successful bearded iris grower over the years. I hate to admit it, but I only had three or four flowers last spring and summer, and there are two things that I'm doing wrong. Number one, the plants need to be divided every two to five years, about that time, and I don't think I've done it for probably 10 or more. It's not good. Number two, the rhizomes, which are these little gnarly things here that look like ginger, need to sit above the soil. They need to be exposed to the sun. Now, I'm a prolific mulcher, so I'm constantly covering the rhizomes, hence hardly any flowers. Today, I'm going to amend that problem so I've got multiple blooms next spring and summer. So to do this, is as simple as just digging up the irises, trying not to break into the rhizomes, just digging down as deep as you can, getting the roots, which I've done here. What I'm doing. So you can see that they're really close together. They're not happy. Oh, God. Pull them up by their leaves. Shake off the soil. And can you see how many I've got there? You really shouldn't have to look at that. That's just out of control. So we break them up. It's really simple, like breaking up ginger again. Cutting off the leaves to about 10 centimetres from the rhizome. That's just so the plant's not stressing too much by having to put all its energy into the leaves with the growth. I'm not doing it very neatly here for the video. And then finding a nice clear spot without too much mulch, which I've repaired earlier over here, and I will dig the rest up later. Putting it into the ground, making sure the roots are covered, but not the rhizomes. As you can see, here. And then watering them in with a bit of sea salt. So I will do that for the whole garden bed, and at the end of the video, you'll see how brilliant it looks. There you go. So one bed, one only bed is done. I removed every single plant, there are probably a hundred of them, and have divided them up and cut their leaves down and put back in about a tenth of what was already in there because they need to be planted about 30 to 40 centimetres apart. Now you'll see that the rhizomes are showing in all of them. I've watered them in with some sea salt. Now we've just got to wait, leave them, not over, you know, not give them too much attention because they really don't need a lot of water. They don't want to be too moist. Um, and hopefully next spring and summer, and from then on, we'll have loads of flowers. Now, if anyone local would like some uh, blue, mostly blue bearded irises, please let me know, because I've got mounds of them. There's a huge pile of them over there, and I'd be very happy to give them to you. Hope this has been of some benefit, and I'll see you next time. Now I'll move on to the next garden bed. Bye. Bye.